she's going through the process. So, you know, she's going to connect with who she's going to connect with. So if I, if it looked like I dismissed her, you know, not the case. And definitely I apologize to Ace because it wasn't uh, meant to be that way because I hold Ace in high regard. Ace is a dope woman and so forth. So I would never be disrespectful to her anyway. I wouldn't be disrespectful to any of the women, tell you the truth, because at the end of the day, I don't have anything. I'm not mad. The only thing like this whole process is, and this is in dating in general, we should have fun. If we don't like each other, meaning which is not romantic, it's not a big deal. You don't take that offensive. We yeah. can always be friends. Yeah, man. You know, go hard, go home. Yeah. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, people get so offensive with dating. Oh, you know, if it doesn't work out, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out at this right moment. Okay. It can always work out two weeks later, two months later. So it's all about God's timing. It's not about, you know, we need to fall in love right when we meet each other. We need to understand each other. We need to learn each other. We need to uh, understand how we, you know, wake up in the morning. What's our likes? What's our dislikes? What makes us tick? We're not going to find this out in in one date, especially with all these cameras in front of us. We got like, Literally, we got like six cameras all around us. We're mic'd, and everything is a controlled environment. And SMI, Lur's good. I was not salty at all. I'm not Lowry's. I'm not salty. I live a great life, so I was not salty about that at all. <laughs> so Facts. it looks salty, but I am not salty. If I was salty, I would through tables and you see me I was still drinking my drink because I did see that one clip I was still drinking my drink while she was walking out having upset so if I was yeah, salty I would have did that <laughs> what you say Paul I said true story <laughs> yeah I, if I'm not mistaken I was just sipping my drink and say oh okay you upset roger that <laughs> and you and you stayed there till it was all done too it, it, yeah, and, and that's the whole thing. If you all paid attention to it, she stormed out. Yeah, I'm still single. Uh, she stormed out. I didn't storm out. I wanted to have the conversation with her. So she was the one that felt offended because I spoke my mind. I didn't feel offended when she spoke her mind. I didn't rush out and say all these things and say nasty words to her. We are adults. Right. So we should be able to have a conversation and disagree. And that's what the problem is in this society. We can't have a conversation without having difference of opinion. Exactly. And still respect each other. That's true. So. But you know how people, you know how some people be sometimes, brother. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't care. You know, like I said, I don't explain anything. I'm not trying to make anything justified. What you saw on camera is what you saw on camera. I'm not saying this didn't happen, nothing like this. So I'm fully accountable for everything I said, everything I did. Um, and most people agree, most people don't, but that's what it is. Let's have a discussion. Right, Let's exactly. talk about it. Let's chat about it. Let's learn from each other. Let's respect each other. We ain't got to agree on everything. Um, you know, me casa, you casa, uh, potato, potato. But let's just say, okay, <laughs> respect, let, let's respect each other as, as adults and have fun. And that's it. And if I disrespect you, I'm going to apologize to you and move on from it. I'm not going to brush it off. If I offended you, say something to you, I will right. make sure I apologize because I'm very accountable for my actions. And that's all you can be, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So... I'm glad y'all liked this episode, though. So, yeah, people talking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like uh, it seemed like it's an ongoing event. I mean, I, I was I made it interesting. Yes, you did. I just said I'm gonna have to start calling you PO because you deliver. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I mean, I mean, yeah, like I said. Uh, I'm better in person than I am on TV, just to re let y'all know that. So uh, if you meet me in, t in in person, I'm much better. I'm much uh, prettier, by the way. Uh, much easier on the <laughs> eyes. 
and the conversation is much, 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 much best, better uh, in person. Uh, on TV, you just get to see a snippet of it, of it. Like even Clifton and I, we get the we do a lot of things, but I think they didn't air a lot of stuff because some of the stuff we were just wilding out. Was y'all? Oh well, you was wilding out too, Paul. Shit, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, they should have a bloopers and two hot oh, TV because we had that. stuff. I mean, we was we was Oof. doing Dave Chappelle skits right. and stuff like that. So right, yeah, that was the funniest shit ever. That day, I almost broke my rib cage laughing. <laughs> 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 Somebody Facts. asked me what I have done anything different. Uh, the only thing I would have did different is not been on a reality show. You mean that shit? Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, other than that, that's the only. I regret just getting on a. I, I don't regret it, but if I had to do it over again, I would have never got on it. And I'm trying to see what else some people are saying. So. Uh, and it wasn't, it just wasn't a process for me. Transparent. So I don't know how. I... Coming in hot. You said coming in hot. Who, who, who me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm always coming in hot. <laughs> Bruh. That's what I said. This, this Negro. This Negro. Came no, I didn't. So, so I never said. So, th to be clear, I never said a curse word to Sabrina. What I said to Sabrina was, "I understand what you all did. I understand it to be this, and it worked. You voted me off, but I know you want to say I'm not ready to love. I'm ready to love. I'm just not ready to love you all. That's what it was. So." It was never a cuss word. She reacted in such a way because when I came in, she tried to hug me. And why are you trying to hug me again? Like, we're not going to do that. We're not going to be fake. We're not going to do this whole TV thing. We're going to keep it 100, and we're going to keep it moving. We know why you're here. Don't try to set me down and give me your advice because you can't tell me nothing. Uh, so, And you all will see if this thing goes on. <laughs> but uh, that's what it was. And just to let you guys know, I was not going to force any connection with anyone. I was not going to waste any one time. So that's what it was. But Laverne was never wanting anyone to chase him. I didn't want anyone to chase me. I didn't want anyone to come find me or whatsoever. It was just that, hey, guess what? The, if you look at the women as they did their interviews, their top two guys was always... Clifton Me. and Demetrius. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, and, and Paul. So if you, if you guys look at all the season, if you look at the complete season before I got voted off, you will see that they never said I was interested in Laverne. They always said Clifton and Demetrius. That was their number two. I mean, one, two. And I would say Tory. So they always was in there. So I was not going to force myself or force someone to like me when they already said that they didn't was not interested in me. Yeah. Uh, no one was initially in, attracted to me. They was attracted to Demetrius and Clifton and Tory. So if you if you guys look at all the interviews, they said this big dark piece of chocolate, which was Demetrius, and the big teddy bear which was Clifton, and they loved Clifton's voice. <laughs> they loved his hairline. <laughs> I love his hairline as well. Funny uh, they love Demetrius' beard. They love his chocolateness. They love his demeanor. They loved the way he dressed. They loved everything about him. So they was all over him. I was never upset. So let's get something clear. Laverne is not... I'm very confident. So... I'm not the bottom of anything. <laughs> so if you meet me in public, I'm the best smelling person you'll probably ever meet. Him. I dress well. I take care of myself. So yeah. Laverne is not, was upset. I'm not for everybody. 
so I'm not meant for everybody. So I was never upset 